Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. Now, as you see from the title above, this is going to be a Candles by Victoria haul. If you have been with me for many, many years, before my YouTube channel, I had another YouTube channel. All those videos are deleted. I was way young and didn't really know what I was talking about, but I discovered Candles by Victoria, one of the original candle vendors. Now, Candles by Victoria offers thousands of fragrances, and that's not an exaggeration, literally thousands of fragrances. She's located in Van, Texas, this really, really small city in East Texas, and it's her, her husband Matt, her daughter Chelsea, and her daughter Chelsea's husband Wade. The four of them create Candles by Victoria. They are the family, the power through uh, quad, what I want to say, four people. Anyway. I have loved Candles by Victoria for years, and as you know, I get very overwhelmed with brands. I dive super, super deep into a brand. I step back, I try new brands, but I've loved candles since I was 11 years old. Candles are my passion. I do love wax melts and everything scented, but at the end of the day, I love candles. Now, Candles by Victoria is famous for her highly, highly scented candles. Now. What that means is, they're going to knock you out of the house. They're triple scented, one of the strongest candles I've ever tried from any company, and she offers everything. From her scent shots, she was the original scent shot. Little two ounce cube of wax, you get one free with every single order, I'll talk about that. To giant candles, to wax melts, to scoopable wax, to liquid tarts, to beautiful decorative candles, which we're going to talk about in my second haul video. This first haul are 12 classic candles that are staples that I've tried before, that I've loved for the years, and now I wanted to get again. Now, why did I step away from Candles by Victoria? Life happens. I moved. I met somebody who I didn't really care for. Like I said, just a lot of changes has always happened, but I'm in a new apartment. It's a huge open space, and it's hard to scent. And I was like, I need strong candles, and I love shopping small. And I was like, Candles by Victoria. I used to love Candles by Victoria. Let me look on her site. Oh my god, you guys. She has so many new things, so many new fragrances, new jars, new styles, new everything. Let me tell you, when Candles by Victoria does something, she goes all out. And Victoria, she is one of the sweetest angels. You can message her, interact with her. She is such a sweet soul. The whole family is. She's amazing. Her candles are amazing. They throw out of this world. I've already tried a couple, as you see. Some are already empty, but we'll discuss that as well. But I ramble a lot. There's a lot to talk about. So without further ado, Let's get into it. What I purchased for this first haul were 12 of Candles by Victoria's 9 ounce country jar candles. When you go on candlesbyvictoria.com, there are 40 candle pages. I don't even know off the top of my head. And she, like I said, has everything. Classic jars, decorative, these dessert type candles that are seriously gorgeous works of art. You want to eat them. Please don't. It's wax. But her candles... There's so many different options, but I was like, for my first order again, I just want to place an order for two six-packs. Now, she offers three different sizes of six-packs, her eight-ounce jelly jars, what I per purchased, which is her nine-ounce country jars, and then her 16-ounce jars, all ranging from, I believe it's uh, $60 to $90 for six. I decided to do two packs because I could not decide on just six of my favorite scents from her. Like I said, there's so many different scents to choose from. It's it's actually overwhelming. Now, what I also want to add, I know I said, oh, enough chit chat, but you know how I am. Shh, everything is handmade. Everything is wrapped incredible. Don't worry about the summer heat. Her husband, Candleman, wraps everything perfectly. When I say perfectly, I mean perfectly. Everything is wrapped beautifully, um, biodegradable packing peanuts, bubble wrap, I mean, perfection. But, let's start, 
with my first candle. I promise my rest of my hauls are not going to be this drawn out and crazy. But the first one we have is White Nectarine and Pink Coral. And this is beautiful pink color. Now this, it is sweet. It is fresh. You get that beautiful citrusy burst from the nectarine. But then you get this almost like fresh soapy vibe from the pink coral blended together. It's perfection. And when you see me rubbing the top of the candles, it's to release those oils. When I get candles by Victoria Candles, because they're hand poured to order, that's another thing. Handmade with love on every candle. Everything is hand made. So there's none of these candles sitting on a shelf. When you order a nine ounce country jar in white nectarine and pink coral and they print your packing slip for the day, they're pouring that candle fresh for you. I suggest, not everybody does this, let your candles sit for two weeks once you get them. That's going to let those oils marinate, that's going to let that wax cure, and when you burn that candle, it's going to knock you out of the house. And that happens even with this small candle in my open space, knocks my socks off. So that was white nectarine and pink coral. Caramelized pralines. This has to be one of Victoria's signature fragrances. It's this buttery brown color. And this smells like you walked into the mall and they have that nut roasting stand with the almonds and the pecans and the walnuts and that cinnamony, sugary, crusty vibe. That's what this smells like. It's comfy. It's cozy. It's decadent, and this is perfect for fall. As you know, I'm all about the fall vibes right now. Then we have Elvis. Now, if you don't know me in my personal life, peanut butter is one of my favorite flavors. I love peanut butter whiskey. I love peanut butter brownies. I love peanut butter. I love peanut butter ice cream. If there's anything with peanut butter on the menu, sign me up. And if it has bananas, even better. And Elvis made peanut butter and banana sandwiches. And that is exactly what this yellow candle is. Peanut butter and banana. You pick up on that peanut butter. It's that rich, like fresh from the jar peanut butter with, and it is a little bit of a candied banana, but that's to be expected. You want that candied banana with the peanut butter. Oh, I cannot wait to burn this one. Now, I want to say the highlight of my order, which is crazy because it sounds so simple, Granny's Pie Crust. If you have ever wanted to try one candle in your life, it's Granny's Pie Crust. It sounds crazy. This is not sponsored, by the way. I paid for these all with my own money. It sounds simple, right? Pie Crust. And that's all it is. But this pie crust is made with brown sugar. It's made with top shelf butter. It's made with the best flour, cane sugar, the most premium ingredients are in this decadent pie crust that Granny makes. I don't even know how else to describe this, but heaven in a jar, and I mean it, if you only go to Candles by Victoria and buy one candle, make it be Granny's Pie Crust. This scent is heaven on earth, and I mean it. It is so good. It's so decadent. It's rich. It smells like beautiful pie crust coming right out of the oven, ready to be filled with your favorite pie filling. Speaking of pie, lemon ginger snap pie. This was another favorite I loved years ago, filled to literally the brim. I just opened this and I can already smell it. This smells like the best lemon bakery scent you've ever smelled. If you are like hesitant on lemon bakery, you think, oh, it's, it's a little bit too cleaner, try this because the pie crust note and the ginger snap, not gingerbread, ginger snap, offers the mellowed down version of a lemon bakery scent and it is heaven on earth. Now, if you see when you get your wicks, if you see that little black speck, it's not lead. Lead wicks are illegal in the US. They use zinc core wicks. And what a zinc core wick means is that little piece of zinc in the middle, it's gonna keep that wick straight. It's gonna keep it straight when they're pouring it. It's gonna keep it straight when you're burning it and when you're trimming it after every use to a quarter of an inch. It's gonna keep it stable for you. Now, 
Country Berry Hotcakes. Look at this color. It looks like the best, like, boysenberry jam you've ever eaten. And I don't know if you can see in this, this wick needs to be trimmed. Now, they trim their wicks for you before they go out, but over time, the wax does settle. Once it gets super hard, it's going to settle down just a little bit. Make sure you just give that a trim. You don't want your wicks to trim or to smoke or anything like that. And country berry hotcakes. Think strawberries, blueberries, raspberries in a beautiful compote on the freshest, fluffiest pancakes. That's what this smells like. You get like a little bit of a yeasty note, which comes from the pancakes or hotcakes, mixed with all those decadent berries. This is a Sunday morning candle. This is a candle that I want to burn. I'm off of work on a Sunday, which I am this Sunday, and it's perfectly cured. Line up. It smells. You just want to put your PJs on, watch a comforting show, have your morning coffee. It's heaven. I'm going to use the word it's heaven a lot in this video because it is. Then we have pumpkin pecan waffles type. Say anymore. It smells just like that Bath and Body Works candle, rich, fluffy waffles with like pumpkin pie filling and the gooeyest maple butter on top. Not just maple syrup, maple butter. You know when you go to those fancy restaurants and you get butter and it's all whipped in a bowl with a spreader and it's made with maple? That's what this smells like. Can it be fall, please? I hate, I hate summer. Please let it be fall. I had to throw that in there. Then we have Cajun cornbread. Cajun cornbread is a blend of peach preserves and Kim's Country cornbread. Two amazing fragrances from Victoria mixed into one. You get that buttery, rich, corny bread. And you get the sweetest peach preserves. Those peach preserves that you get in the jar that are handmade, that they soak in the uh, boiling water to seal the jar and you crack that lid open and you spread it on the most decadent English muffin with the nooks and crannies. That's what that smells like with a big old side of cornbread. It's decadent, it's bakery, it's yummy. You can see all those fragrance oils in there which means this guy, it's gonna blow your socks off. And now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more candles that are empty and then two that I forgot to save. This guy. Bath time with poo. If you remember my first job, I worked at a soap company, an independent soap company, and honey, I don't want any kids, because then I'd have to wash them. It smells just like that soap. And look at that burn. All the way down to the bottom, clean. I had to burn this in my bathroom as soon as I got it and let it cure, of course. It smells like honey and toffee and rich like it does have a little bit of a soapy note because it is after all a soap it smells amazing and from that same company we have pink bubblegum crush also finished this guy up burned it right to the bottom see look at that no soot no smoke clean burning all the way down pink bubblegum crush ah oh, i just want to fluff some candy now that was a dusting powder from that company years ago. Doesn't smell like those fairies made of snow, but it does smell like the most bubblegummy, fruity, girly fragrance you've ever smelled in your life. Mm. Now, those were the candles that I have. I did burn through two candles already that I did end up pitching and totally forgot about it. One, blueberry cheesecake. If you're not really wanting anything like Granny's Pie Crust, but you like bakery, blueberry cheesecake. Creamy, rich blueberry, a little bit of a graham cracker crust. It's a cult following from Candles by Victoria, that's for sure. Heaven. And then the other one, Strawberry Danish. Now, I'm putting a PSA out there for Strawberry Danish. It's one of my top 10 Candles by Victoria fragrances, but... It does have a little bit of a salty note in there. Little salty, little yeasty. Some people aren't too big of a fan of that. Let me tell you, it's heaven on earth. It smells so good. I actually bought it in one of her giant candles that I'll be talking about in a future video. I'm probably gonna film a second haul today 
to put up next week because I don't want to overwhelm you with all the candles that I bought from her recently. But Strawberry Danish was to die for and I did get a request from somebody in my comments to actually list all the things that I talk about in the description bar so I will be doing that for sure especially with candles by Victoria so that way you can actually search my channel and type in the name of a fragrance and see if I've talked about it because let me tell you I love me some candles by Victoria and I've found the brand that throws in this house better than anything now I did talk about this little cup of goodness in the beginning, but I didn't talk about what scent it is. Every order, Candles by Victoria throws in one of her two ounce scent shots, which retails for $2. They're in these little solo cups. You just pop it out. You can either throw the whole thing in your warmer. I cut it in half. Oh my God. This is in Tiffany D. Now, if you're familiar with beauty YouTubers, Tiffany D is a YouTuber. She was a big fan of Candles by Victoria years ago, and her and Victoria collaborated on this Honeydew Cantaloupe. Etta, if you're watching this, you need to check this out. I know you love your cantaloupe scents. And Cotton Candy. It's like this ooey, gooey, sugar, spun sugar scent with that honeydew and that cantaloupe and all the melons and look at this pretty blue. Mm. It'll be perfect for the summer days that I don't care for. I do love this scent and it's definitely one that I will burn in the future. But I know that was super long winded. I definitely wanted to get this video out to you guys so you could order from Candles by Victoria. I'll leave a link below. Definitely, if you're interested, Join her Facebook group. I talk about that with all the vendors. That's where you're going to learn some things about the brand, about Victoria, about the candles, what customers are loving, what they're not too crazy about, when she's having a sale, what all the fun details are. I interact a lot with people in that group too. Definitely, I'll leave that link down below. If you do order from Candles by Victoria, there's a little comment box. Give, her, give me a shout out there. Let her know that I sent you. I definitely have been talking with Victoria and... Um, I definitely wanted to share the love with you guys. I have a couple more of these bins filled with candles that I separated from my orders so I can talk about them with you guys. Again, I said I like to let her stuff sit for about two weeks before I melt it since it is fresh and handmade for you. Now, after it felt like I just drank a whole Red Bull after talking to you guys, I'm going to go get ready for dinner. I'm going to upload this video to YouTube. I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.